Hello YouTube, Machine Dana here from Stream Essentials. I hope you're doing really, really well. Hope you're having a really good day. So yeah, if you're watching this video, it means you've probably bought a Stream Deck and you're hopefully enjoying the wonders of built-in macros. It's such a good tool. I've had one for about a year now and the quality of life a Stream Deck brings to your stream and the smoothness of it is there's not really many products out there that match it, to be honest. But if you're anything like me, you'll also want the Stream Deck to look as beautiful as it acts. So in this video, I'm going to be going through some different sources where you can get Stream deck icons for your Elgato stream deck. Now this is going to come in a variety of different forms. Some of them are paid, some of them are free. There's also static and animated icons as well. So we're going to be covering quite a lot within the video and also towards the end I'll just show you some tips and tricks on how to actually add the icons to your stream deck. We've got a more detailed article so check out the link below if you want to read up a little bit more beyond this video. Hopefully by the end of this video you've got a load more new icons to work with whether they're free or paid but you'll have loads of sources to look through and make your choice. If you do find this video useful please hit the subscribe button because we do loads of content around streaming you can also feel free to check out my personal channel as well let's go Okay, so the first and probably most obvious source to get your Stream Deck icons, and it's free of charge, is at the elgato.com forward slash en forward slash key creator. Here you're able to basically create different keys, save the keys and download them. And here there's all kinds of different ways that you can create them. There's some default ones here, but you can also create some of your own by uploading images and all kinds of other stuff. These are all free and you can download the files and then attach them onto your Stream Deck. It's quite a nice and neat little tool that Elgato have created here. And as a starter for 10, this is definitely where you should look for sort of the standard icons, the basic icons for the basic things that you need to do. One thing to also bear in mind is most of the applications and plugins that you install for the Stream Deck will actually come with buttons that have their own pictures assigned to them anyway. And some of those pictures will be animated when you press the button. So you don't always have to customize every key to your liking because the developers of the plugins actually already will have icons added to them for the functional keys. But of course, you probably want the wallpapers and things like that to look nice. With the Elgato Stream Deck Creator, you can create wallpapers as well. Next up, we've got VBI. Now, anyone that knows anything about streaming will probably know that VBI have been developing all kinds of overlays and panels and things like that for streaming for a long time now. They're a brilliant company and they famously have developed some real innovations for some streamers. For example, Latchlan used VBI to create a webcam border that reacts to his health in Fortnite. So whenever he got to low health, it would react and VBI developed it so that his camera would go dark and red. But recently in May 2021, VBI was actually acquired by Elgato. So VBI is now an Elgato product exclusively, but they still operate as an independent company and you can still get things like Stream Deck keys from them. If you visit visualsbyimpulse.com and go onto their store, there is a search bar here. I found it actually quite difficult to locate these. If you do a search for Stream Deck, you'll find all of their Stream Deck icons here. Some of them are pretty damn cool and most of them are actually free, but there are also some paid ones that you can access as well. You can see here they all tend to stick with a general theme. For example, this Riders one looks kind of cool. So this is a free icon bundle and it comes with 148 unique icons. So that's kind of cool. Here's a little bit of a flavor of what they're like. They are animated, which means they will be GIF files and they'll be very small GIF files. And checkout's quite an easy process here. You just add it to cart and do the usual processing thing. One caveat here, I did have to input my email address and give some personal information. But if you don't want to give personal information, you basically can just make most of it up. As long as the email address is a valid email address, you can get a checkout file here. And for the free icons, literally you get the icon file straight away. It will download them. What's pretty cool about this is they've given animated and static versions of the icons. That's really good of VBI to do that. Here's an example of the Amazon icon here. Kind of cool. And there's the static version of the same icon. Next up, we've got Nerd or Die, one of the big players in the streaming game. They've, again, a little bit like VBI, been designing overlays, panels, icons, things like that for a long, long time now. There's currently four packs as far as I can see, and the Aurora pack here is one of the better packs and the one that we would probably recommend. There's some pixel art ones, Nova, Clarify. Let's have a look at this one, and they're pretty cheap as well. These are just $2. As you can see, they're super vivid, super bright, and super beautiful. One of the cool things about this is you do also get the PSD template, so if you know all about Photoshop and you want to make slight 
tweaks and changes, then you're able to do that in the PSD files rather than having to take the hard GIF file or the hard JPEG file. In this Aurora pack specifically, there's 220 icons, so there's a real broad range of icons to choose from. It's a similar gig here as to VBI. You just check it out as normal and you get the files instantly. The process takes just one minute. The final source we're covering today is Artificial Creations here. These guys have got 100 free Stream Deck icons that you can check out now and you can literally define your price on Sellify that you want to pay for them. So if you're feeling generous, you can pay them for these or you can get them completely free as well if you're a little bit skint. <laughs> Similar kind of gig, again, adding it to cart and we're downloading these. You just have to input an email address and hit continue and the download file will be there for you. Here's just a quick preview of those icons. I really like the style here. There's kind of like a light line through them. They look really, really swishy and like chromified. I particularly like the Steam one here and the Spotify. It's a really, really nice pack actually. Okay, so hopefully I've given you some inspiration on where you can actually get the icon packs for the Stream Deck. If you want something a little bit more customized, you can go down the Elgato route and just customize with your own image or you can download preset packs with they're paid ones and both animated and non-animated. Now I'm just going to show you briefly how to upload them to your Stream Deck and give you some tips on getting the best from those. So I'm in the Stream Deck app now. First of all, any icon you click on, this is the folder where you would add those icons. Now if it's a button that only has one face on it, i.e. it's not a switch that switches between two different functions, then you can only upload one picture. But when it is a switch, you can usually upload two pictures, one for one switch being pressed and a second picture for a different picture being pressed. And of course, you can upload wallpaper icons as well. So you can make icons that span the whole length of your stream deck. So let's say, for example, I want to drag in a folder and this folder I want to give a picture to. You just have to click on the icon itself select down here and set from file. Within the app though, you can actually open the Stream Deck icon library here and there's a load of icons available from Elgato straight from here that you can select from without having to go to a browser to create with the Elgato key creator. So if any of those icons tickle your fancy, you can do that. I think what will happen over time is that Elgato will add to this and they will turn this into a store and they will also add the VBI stuff in here as well, but they're not here currently as at the time of this video. So all you've got to do now is click this icon here the down icon we want to click set from file and then we're going to go into our download file where we've downloaded one of those packs earlier we're going to go for the rider stream deck icon go into the icons we're going to an animated one and using the amazon example that we used earlier here we can see this is a gif file yeah these are all the formats that are acceptable svg psj vb l xxx I, I, yeah there's quite a lot of file types that they accept. <laughs> so we're going to click that now and we can see that the Amazon icon is set. Now it may not actually show as animated on the Stream Deck app, but on the actual Stream Deck itself, it is showing as animated as I'll show you here. It's the exact same process for a static one. So we set from file. This time, instead of animated, we're going to the static. We can choose the size that we want to go for. And again, we click the Amazon one and that's updated instantly on the Stream Deck. Now some buttons, for example, a multi-action switch have two basically two statuses like an on and an off status so in this case you've got a radio button that allows you to set a picture for both final thing to note really is that elgato have recently just released stream deck mark 2 which basically is it's about the same there's not a lot of difference in the actual product itself but you can get face plates so if you wanted to further customize your stream deck you can also do that here's actually quite a cool example of how you can integrate colored buttons with a face plate it just makes it look really awesome So there you go. That was the icons. Hopefully you've got some inspiration on where to pick up some awesome new icons for your stream deck. If you did find it useful, please, please, please hit the like button because it genuinely helps us. And yeah, if you want to subscribe for a bit more content, feel free to do that. Have a nice day. Take care.